Hi Andrew, I'm shooting a video here to try and help you troubleshoot your issues. So, I've done a couple of things. First, just to clear things up, I ripped everything out and you know, I'll, I plan on putting it back in, but I will eventually clean it up. Um, I didn't want to confuse you um, with all the wiring and stuff because it really wasn't adding to the whole explanation. So I just ripped it out. Second, uh, I want to show you that I'm sourcing 5 volts, 4.98, close enough, right from this connector on here. It's the second one from the bottom left. Okay. But I use that trickle voltage, which I think you've already buzzed out or measured. I'm going to use that trickle voltage to turn on the CRT. Now, the mains, which I have plugged in, is powering the board that's in there. That's the analog board that is producing these five volts. So of course, yeah, you need to have the mains connected, obviously, right? So the IVAD board sits here on a circuit board that's on the neck of the CRT. And that comes out on this cable here that used to have that connector that went into the logic board. I cut it off and I've wired in a, a DE15 connector so I can plug in a VGA monitor. I'm sorry, a VGA source. Um, so what I did was the two wires that corresponds to pin four and 10, I believe those are the two you have to put together, on the connector that went into the logic board are together here now, the two yellow ones, and I've wired them together, okay? This is where the five volt source goes, okay? That turns on the CRT. Um, I have a video source. I'm going to use my Raspberry Pi since it was already configured for that. Um, I mean, you can try and use a Raspberry Pi. It's, it's difficult to configure sometimes, but I recommend that you use a, a source that you have more control over. Okay. Now the Pi is not powered from anything on here. I have it powered separately. Um, so I can have, you know, control over and I can show you the process in a, in a clearer fashion. I have the Arduino sitting over here. This Arduino is um, wired with just three wires. Okay, importantly, one of the most important ones is the ground. You need to have a common ground. And I've just simply taken uh, ground from one of the grounds on the Arduino and I've hooked it with an alligator clip to the chassis. Okay, and that's good enough. I'm using the SDL and SDA lines on here. And I always get the two confused on which is which, but um, I believe SDA is this one over here, the one closest to the USB connector. And that one goes connected, if you follow this wire, to the what is the purple wire. And that purple wire is the, is the one that goes to the neck of the CRT on the IVAD board. That purple wire you'll see goes into the connector that you have. So the purple wire that's on the connector that goes to the EMAC logic board, right? That purple wire goes into this pin here, that pin right there on the far right in this picture. The other one, CL, or STL, sorry, uh, goes to the gray wire that's on the neck the wire that goes to the neck of the CRT. So gray and purple wires, and they go here. That's the I squared C communications port on the Arduino. Okay, so what's the process? How do you turn it on? Okay, so we have the bits, right? We have the CRT, we have five volts coming out. We have the Arduino with the, the initialization code and we have a video source, okay? So let me see if I can get this in one frame. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is grab and connect your five volts, right? And wire it, oops, that fell off, and wire it into those two wires that were connected to four and 10. I've already wired them together into this single wire. And you should hear something. Oops. 
that made a nice clunk. Okay. The next thing you do is power your Arduino. Five seconds will go by, and then it will send the initialization code. And you might hear something on CRT, you might not. Okay, once that's done, you go and you turn on your Raspberry Pi or your video source, and I just did. And then we look at the screen. Now it might take, you know, 10 seconds to start to show something, but it should. And here we go. And that's pretty much it. That's the process there. Power those two pins with five volts, send the initialization code, and then turn on your video source. So I hope that helps. Let me know.